<clears throat> Hi, um, the VMAs just finished. Um, I just literally watched Katy Perry's performance with Nicki Minaj for her song Swish. Am I the only one that feels or is able to sense all the shade and tea taking place between Miss Katy Perry and Taylor Swift? Okay, so let me start off this video by talking about Taylor Swift's video for Look What You Made Me Do. I think that's what it's called. Disclaimer, and y'all can come and shoot me if you want. This is YouTube. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Initially, when I saw the reviews or like from the clips, because it was like two days ago that Todrick Hall and her started doing like little promo releases of the video and the one scene that everyone went in an uproar about was the scene where she was in all black and her dancers were in black everyone was like oh my gosh she's ripping off Beyonce's formation this that, and third and I can admit that initially when you see it that little bit of it before you see the whole video if you only base it off of the clip that was shown you would assume the same thing but if you took the time to actually watch the video tonight or on youtube but if you watched it on the vmas and you saw the entire concept of the video that segment was like literally 30 seconds of a whole different story plot that taylor is doing yes taylor's innocent bubblegum woe is me i'm so innocent i'm the victim blah 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 tactics always got on my nerves i never said it did it but i ain't gonna lie i have fucking write some music and i love her music 1989 that album say what you want but i'm here for the video <laughs> because i like one she doesn't mind poking fun at fun at herself and two the shade she is throwing at katy perry in this video in the lyrics and the scenes if you ain't catch it then you sleep I mean, I know we're so used to like the tea and drama always just being on like hip hop, R&B, rap, but honey, the beef that takes place in some of these pop scenes are to die for. Um, the fact that I guess the old Taylor Swift is dead, I am here for, um, talking about your stage tilting whatever that was a shot at Katy Perry from her Super Bowl performance I mean you just have to I guess the only way you'll know what she's talking about is if you kind of follow or are familiar with the music of both individuals and um I just love in the end of that video how she's brought all of her old personalities like the old the old old Taylor the first Taylor with the guitar and the tightly curl hair that just I'm so sweet and the uh, Taylor from that video where she's in her house and the boys across the uh, that lives across from her I mean just all the Taylors were used to and then the new Taylor that's emerged and they were just like oh my gosh you got oh the Taylor from the VMAs with Kanye and she was like who is this me she's I, I I'm just here for it I'm here for it. I'm like I like the visuals of the out the song. I like the song itself and but let me tell you this performance I just finished with Katy Perry for Swish Swish is pretty much they saved it for last because she took a dig at Taylor. That whole song was about Taylor Swift and if you don't think it is, I need y'all to rewind it and listen to the lyrics. That is all I have to say. And I wonder how she felt though that um, she hosted it and Taylor purposely premiered her video on the VMAs that she was hosting. Do you see? Do you see the level of petty this new Taylor Swift is doing? This is a good. This is like the level of pettiness. The girl you don't like that you've been beefing with all this time is hosting a show, and you were like, you know what? I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna premiere my video on the episode of the VMAs that you're hosting and you ain't got no choice but to be there for it because MTV gonna do whatever I want them to do and they did. It would have been even topped off. The level of petty would have been topped off if they had made Katie announce the world premiere of the video. But you know MTV ain't gonna do all of that. They've already wore petty by allowing this video to be premiered tonight. But so much happened on this VMA. I had to take notes.
okay like I have notes on my phone it's crazy I know don't judge me okay the Kendrick Lamar opening you know I'm here for Kendrick I love Kendrick I love his lyrics I love how deep his words are I never understand the whole Kung Fu, Pen, um, Kung Fu Kenny someone has to explain that to me I don't know but as always I like Kendrick I'm glad that he won video of the year because humble was phenomenal and awesome though um the performance was pretty good i have no complaints over that um so the segment where ed sheeran is performing um his song his hit song and then i don't even know the name of the guy that sings the song but he came out i guess he's in a remix of the ed sheeran song but when Excuse me, when Ed Sheeran starts with his guitar playing his song, the face that, oh my gosh, the face that Cardi B made. She was like, her face was like, oh. You know that song, huh? Look at you. Look at you all hit Ed Sheeran. Her face was so priceless. Like, I literally had to watch it on my on my um computer oh not on my computer on my phone on my xfinity app look at it do y'all see the face that she made she was like oh oh and you you okay okay and sharon okay and sharon i see you i see what you're doing but it was <laughs> Her face was just so priceless and the camera just got it and she was beat. Her hair was flawless. She looked good. Cardi B, babe, you looked good with the T, okay? But I just thought that like out of some of the moments that was like one of the, the priceless moments. Um, Lord's performance? Did she perform or did she just dance? But was it a dance? Like, did she dance or did she? I, I just didn't understand the purpose of that. Like, I fall back into the show this dang old video. If that's what she was up to. I, I just don't. I don't get it. Um. What else? Um. We had so Pink was given the Video Vanguard Award. I think that's what it was. I was just happy to not see Pink swinging across the stage. <laughs> I feel like every performance Pink has ever done, she is in some leotard attire, swinging up and down the stage somewhere. But overall, I loved the throwback of listening to all some of my favorite Pink songs. It was awesome. Her speech about her daughter was just phenomenal. And I feel like every parent should should teach that to their kids especially young girls because this generation moving forward the ones now and forward i feel scared for my daughter so i thought her speech was phenomenal um logic performed with alisa i can't think of the girl's last name her name is like her name is like alisa something but he performed so don't judge me no judgment zone i don't want to hear about it i I did not know Logic was white. Shoot me, shoot me. I don't. I didn't know. Today was the first day. I, I mean, I've always heard the song and I love the song. I love the message of the song. Love it. I just never. It just never registered to me to look up who this person was. And I. I mean, it ain't nothing wrong that he was white. I didn't care. I was just kind of shocked because he didn't sound white. You know how sometimes people be telling you like. You sound, you sound, you sound black. You know, like when people make those comments, I felt like I was one of those people today that stereotyped logic and his tone, and I apologize, but I didn't know. Shoot the messenger, I didn't know, but I'm glad. Um, his performance was really good, it was touching, his message was on point at the end, he was ready, he just went straight to the point, and I feel like more and more, especially now we need that message like, like i said i live in woodbridge like last summer two teenagers committed murder suicide in the van because one broke up with the other and that they just couldn't be without each other the other one decided you know if i can't have you hell i guess no one else will so a lot of suicides have been happening um but so i feel like that song so 
His message today actually got me to go ahead onto my Apple Music and download his album so I can listen to what it all what you know what else he's talking about because he seems like he's got some good content. So I did that. Um, the Alisa, I can't think of her name. It's like Alicia, the same lady that did it with Logic. Her performance was really good too. I like how she shipped down from what the expectation of society is to just bearing it all and just being herself and authentic and just. I love that part of it and I enjoyed her performance um, let's talk about fifth harmony okay so I had called my best friend to ask him if he saw the Taylor Swift video and he had said nah he didn't see it it was in the car or whatever whatever and then he told me he proceeded to tell me half of did you see fifth harmony's new video I said no and I'm pretty up to date with Fifth Harmony, especially because I follow Zachary on Instagram and he gives me all the best reactions of all things music and life. So I had to go on my YouTube and look up this Fifth Harmony video. And it's called, if you hadn't had a chance to look at it, let me go to my history really quick. Um, uh, he Like That. That's the name of the song. If you get a chance, go to YouTube, look up He Like That. Okay? Bomb song. Video is even better. Fifth Harmony came, slayed, conquered, took it all. I don't care what anyone says. I feel like once they got rid of that one girl, Carmela, Carmela, whatever, it was done. Signed, still delivered. They have renewed, became new women, and but let me let like the gag is on their performance tonight. I don't know if y'all know this, okay? So before the song starts, they're all on stage. It's kind of dark. They all have the silver attire on. And if you noticed on the stage, it was five of them on stage, right? It was and then when they were all dropping, you notice only one dropped to represent the one that they dropped and left back like you gone we about to make it okay watch it if y'all don't know what i'm talking about go look up fifth harmony's performance tonight and you tell me this was before the rest of the four dropped one girl dropped first because it was five of them up there you you know they could have played it off if you know if they didn't want to be shady or if they weren't trying to say something or be petty they would have just had like them four and like maybe like four other dancers and all fall back but nah the level of pettiness that Fifth Harmony has has developed. No. They had five of them. One dropped to the back first and fell. Then the, the regular standing four fell back together. Yes. Level of petty achieved. One check for Fifth Harmony. Even though they're four now. They can't be called Fourth Harmony though. But I am here for the new and improved Fifth Harmony. Look up that video he liked. If you don't, then you missing out. They are cranking out videos left and right all day, every day. Um, and then so that their performance, Gucci Man comes out for 4.5 seconds, bring out his boo, Keisha Dior. I don't know for what. I guess to just let everybody know that, that she's just a ride or die. She been here. She gonna always be here. I'm gonna be on stage performing. She gonna be right here next to me doing her, which is nothing on stage. But I love the love. I can't complain about that. It is what it is. But they were there for five seconds. He performed his, his, his little rap rhyme and then exited stage left. Like Cassie said, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my daughter says when she asks us for stuff. She'd be like, Mommy, can I please have some cereal? And then when you say, okay, she'd be like, thank you. I'm like, where did you get this from? Anyways, but yeah, so she was there for like a hot second. Can we talk about Tiana Taylor and this extra snatch bag? Like she is giving all of us regular everyday women that are struggling to lose the baby fat from two kids ago 
I'm still trying to lose the fat from Cassidy's birth. And that half about to be five come December. And she gonna come out here belly snatched and just... <sighs> the struggle. You ain't right, Tiana. <laughs> you ain't right. You 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 giving us false you giving people false hope out there. You ain't right. And then you talking about you be eating chicken and eating whatever you want. You know what? You ain't right. We out here struggling, trying to eat rabbit food and trying to do meal replacements and do cardio. Like you just come out like I've arrived. What you want me to do in my Janet inspired attire? I'm here. What y'all want to say about it? Y'all ain't gonna say nothing about it. But I can't. I'm here though. I'm here. But. I mean, overall, and Katy Perry as a host, I mean, she wasn't too terrible. I think some of her jokes got flat. People didn't understand it. I don't know if she was, like, trying to throw shade. Oh, her performance with Katy Perry. I don't know if Nicki Minaj, I mean, her performance with Nicki Minaj, I don't know if she had Nicki on the song to throw extra shade at Taylor. Because remember, last year, Taylor and Nicki had this tick for tack situation on Twitter about stuff and Nikki even her verse on the song had shade that you would think like that sounded like it was probably a hit at Taylor so I'm look all I'm saying is that I am here for Taylor Swift's new album I can't wait for that shit to drop because I I'm a Taylor Swift fan I like a plethora of music all around I have not I'm not a discriminator anytime I hear something new from anyone I will have it either sajam it or just look it up on my Apple music and I'll have it on my phone I just love all types of music so I'm here I can't wait for Taylor's new album but I mean I thought the awards was decent I really didn't see a lot of other performances that really caught my eye or attention but the shade between Taylor and Katy Perry was alive and kicking. And if you ain't see it, then you blind. Then you need to be, you Stevie Wonder blind. Because that, that was clear as day. <laughs> it was clear as day. And I just really need you guys to, you know, pay attention. Because the pop tea is tea. I don't know if y'all can let me see if you can see the video that I'm talking about that happened at the VM at the awards for um, um so if you see right here like you see it's four of them and then one drops and then it's just the one you see it oh, I hope y'all can see it I really hope but she the first one to drop and everyone is still standing there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're on Instagram, go to Logo TV's Instagram. You will see exactly what I'm talking about. But, oh, I love watching award shows that have a lot of hidden tea and in the windows. It just, it just makes my blood boil with excitement because then 